Hey guys, it's Aaron with Joe's Game Electronics and today we'll be fixing an Xbox Series X. So today we'll be replacing the disk drive and uh, let's get right into it. So first things first, you're gonna wanna turn it around and you're gonna see the sticker here. And you're just gonna wanna peel off the sticker. Um, grab an edge, I've already heated it up. It's gonna be a little more difficult, but peel it off. And for video purposes, I'll take it completely off. When I'm just repairing it by myself, I usually do not take them all the way off, but so I'm gonna peel it all the way off, just being careful not to rip it. I'll put it to the side here. And then you're gonna also wanna peel off this bottom one here. Get right under it, peel it up. Next, you're gonna wanna grab a screwdriver. I use this one and unscrew those screws that are on the back. And once I get that done, you're gonna to wanna to peel off the back here. I'm gonna pry usually right in the middle. And once it gets up, don't let the rest drop down and just peel up from there. And you're gonna only always wanna go from the bottom up because there are little clips up here, as you'll see in a second. The little clips, so you're gonna always wanna go from the bottom up. And now we're inside the Xbox. Um, to do the disk drive replacement, what we're gonna do is unscrew this screw here. Set it aside. And then this next screw that you're gonna wanna unscrew is gonna be actually underneath here. It sits on the bottom, right underneath. And, um, And to remove this, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab a flathead or some sort of pry tool. You'll see this little clip. You'll see it better when I take it off, but you'll see this little clip here. It's a little locking mechanism and you're gonna to wanna to pull it back and just slide. And I got it off, I'm gonna clip it off. Put the little donut to the side. And then there's gonna be the last screw to unscrew here, which is this one. Drop it back down and get it off. And you're gonna wanna just pop up on it. comes right up. It slides upwards. As you can see, it, the disk drive sits in these little rub, rubber seatings here. So now what you're gonna wanna do is carefully pull up on these connections to the disk drive. Just grab it, pull it up carefully. Next one. You're gonna not wanna break these wires because uh, I mean, they are replaceable, but it's not worth it. So be careful. Once you get that done, pull up on the disk drive. That's all we need now. Let's put the console to the side. Once you get the disk drive out, you're gonna wanna unscrew the four screws on the back. Once you get those four unscrewed, pry up in a corner usually, come right off, cover here. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is pop up all these connections here. Take them out. And if you wanna just test to see if you can still keep the disk drive, you can get into the terminals here, take it apart more and clean it. 
But for this video, I'm just removing the board and we're gonna be placing the board into a new disk drive. So remove the three screws here. And for this, you will need a solder iron. So you're gonna to wanna to unscrew those screws. And then you'll see this board will pop right out. You see those two solder points. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Jeez, okay, there you go. So it's red, then black. I'm gonna grab my solder iron. And just carefully unsolder it here. One point, next. And this is what we're gonna keep. We're gonna grab the new disk drive here. And I already have a halfway taken apart one, so we'll grab it. And this is a disk drive that we had just laying around. And you're gonna grab the daughter board from the original Xbox. Set it, actually, we'll solder it first and then set it into place. Usually I'll do this with tweezers, I just don't have my tweezers today. You got those two connected. You're gonna wanna put the board right back into place. Connect your little ribbons here. And then you're gonna just do everything in repeat. We're gonna put these screws back in. Put the back cover back on. So when you get those four screws back in, all you're gonna do is throw the disk drive back into the console right where it sits. Um, as you can see, I'll grab this here. There's little points in there. If you look at the disk drive, there's points here. To make sure you align it properly, just make sure these fit into those points. So that slides down, clip, sits right in place. You're gonna connect the two connections again. And you connect the other one. You're gonna grab the housing that held it in place. Slip the Xbox into the housing, or the disk drive into the housing. Put your screws back in. If you look on the bottom here, it'll look like that. If you just mess around with where the housing sits, clips right into place, you have to push it all the way in. A little clipping noise, there's your screw. So, got that done. Now you're gonna wanna grab this bottom donut piece and you'll find a way, still haven't mastered it yet. It'll sit in, clip, that's done. Then we're gonna grab the back cover Clip the back cover back in, put the two screws on. And that is it. That is how you replace a disc drive on an Xbox Series X. If you have any questions, uh, comment in the comment section below. We try to respond to all the comments. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.